My name is Alexandre Marra. I'm professor of the post-graduation strict to science program in health sciences at the Albert Einstein Institute Israelita de Ensino e Pesquisa. And also I'm a researcher at the Hospital Israelita Albert Einstein. I am doing research at the University of Iowa, Internal Medicine Department in Iowa City, Iowa, for six years and a half. I'm really excited to introduce the eighth presentation in the Einstein Connection series of guest speakers. Einstein Connection is our international program that intends to connect Brazilian researchers, students, and healthcare personnel with international professors and international researchers. It's my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker, speaker Dr. Abdullah Alguizani. He is the Chief Executive Officer at the Public Health Authority of Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia's National Center for Disease Prevention and Control, CDC. Dr. Alguizani performed infection prevention and control fellowship at the University of Iowa hospitals and clinics. I have been honored to have Dr. Alguizani as a friend at the University of Iowa, and it's been rewarding to see Abdullah collaborates with so many international projects. He'll talk to us about Saudi Public Health Authority from its inception as the founding chief executive vision to control coronavirus. We have planned for Dr. Albuzani to speak for 30 to 40 minutes, after which we will have 10 to 15 minutes to answer questions. You can unmute yourself and ask your questions after Dr. Albuzani's talk, or you can type your question in the chat. I'd like to ask all of you to answer the survey at the end of the presentation. Thank you, and we now hand it over to Dr. Abdullah Guzani to start. Abdullah, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alex. Um, um, very happy and pleased to be with you here in the in this wonderful uh, gathering. Um, uh, my name is Abdullah Al Guizani. Um, I am uh, infectious disease specialist, um, infection control uh, specialist. I am internist in background. Um, I was uh, giving the honor uh, to uh, to establish uh, the Saudi Center for Disease Prevention uh, back then. Uh, in 2018, uh, uh, and then transformed to be the public health authority after uh, 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 separated from the Ministry uh, of Health. And I'm sorry for um, the, uh, um, uh, I'm not presenting from my office, it's uh, 6 p.m. in Saudi Arabia, it's already after working hour. And I'm sure that the time difference is, is suiting all of us. So forgive me if not presenting from my office. And I'm delighted, I'm happy that to be here and to present this talk about, it's a friendly talk about how did, uh, what's the so, so public health authority uh, from the inception uh, and how we went through the, all the COVID as a new entity how we, 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 we go through all these uh, um, extraordinary experience that uh, um, not very often that an established public health authority face unusual or at its, its start up. Um, so public health authority, we, the name is, 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 is uh, Wikaya in public health or BHA. Uh, standing for. Uh, it used to be the Saudi CDC, but after transformation, it started to be Public Health Authority. So Public Health Authority, uh, also known as, um, uh, or formally known as the Saudi Center for Disease Prevention and Control, was established under this organization structure of Ministry of Health uh, in 2013, but it wasn't activated. It was an, a, a resolution, but has not yet been activated. The activation empowerment of Fuqaya was announced in Kingdom Saudi Arabia Vision 2030 uh, 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 in 2016 and been fully activated by 2018. Uh, it was required to 
to uh, the function was to reduction and monitor communicable and non-communicable disease and promote health research study and prevention of control of communicable and non-communicable disease. The resolution number 200 also detail a consolidation of public health function currently distributed across the entities, including activity related to health research uh, on the prevention and control of communicable and non-communicable disease from a public health uh, department in MOH. So uh, we, 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 we started in 2018 uh, formulating the team of the Saudi Center of Disease Prevention and Control. And as we say that we were building the plane while uh, we are in the uh, air, actually. We have to have to activate that center at that then, and we need to uh, fulfill its mandate, and we need to be very ready for any. And we start the work with the uh, recruiting the team, try to uh, establish the, the 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 lab that needed for the team to 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 to, to work, and pre ready. And it's it's a coincidence. We were in in October two thousand and nineteen, which is almost October November two thousand and nineteen. We finalized the the uh, influenza uh, uh, pandemic response. So we were mimicking into November that we will have what we'll do if we have influenza uh, pandemic outbreak. Um, and, and then after two months of that, uh, uh, in, in January or December, actually, we start to have uh, of the pandemic of COVID. So. Uh, so, in, 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 in we, we went through the, all the, the pandemic, uh, which all uh, 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 difficult times back then, uh, and um, we were uh, up, uh, up to the, the challenge. Uh, in March 2001, uh, the Council of Ministers issued a resolution of 401 announcing Hukaya as a financially and administratively independent entity that reports to the board of director chaired by His Excellency Minister of Health. It's aimed to protect and promote public health, prevent disease and increase preparedness and response for public health emergencies by organizing effort between the relevant entity and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And the vision is healthier and safer life for all uh, and lives and communities, mission to protect and improve the health, safety and health security of the people of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia value, uh, reliable, data-driven, collaborative, uh, and excellence, and innovative. And the, the, the mandate of, 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 of uh, this uh, uh, public health authority, or WCAIA, is under a uh, five uh, theme, which is health improvement and disease prevention, public health intelligence, health security, public health workforce planning, and public health laboratories. And under health improvement and disease prevention, our job is to develop and monitor and evaluate and oversee implementation of public health policy, program, and plan and initiatives to review um, uh, regulation and policy related to public health and raise uh, to relevant concern, hold the conferences and workshop and share materials related to public health. In the public health intelligence, we conduct surveillance and monitor the public health risk factor and threats on the local and regional and national level. How is a database for a disease and epidemic and public health uh, uh, risk? Document the, and share the public health evidence and, um, and, and information and purpose of scientific uh, solution to a public health issue and its risk. In the health security, we developed the uh, develop preparedness and response plan for public health emergencies, approve and evaluate the safety and prevention, uh, preventive health care uh, measure for the public health risk, represent the kingdom of Saudi Arabia and public health and regionally and internationally. In the public health workforce planning, we, we, our mandate is to work with the related stakeholder to prepare the future workforce need by preparing and circulating the standard for public health professional with the basic requirement needed for the public health curriculum, accredit and evaluate, accredit evaluator and accredit a practitioner for public health work, coordinate with the government uh, with the government entities um, uh, to audit the public health practitioner and collect information to produce recommendation and action, 
In the public health laboratory, we our mandate is to approve policy, procedure, standard, and requ requirement for public health laboratories, coordinate with the relevant accreditation body to tie the laboratory licenses to accreditation, to establish the high containment laboratory, and uh, from a co uh, form a cohesive network for information sharing between laboratories in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and determine the priority for transfer and development of technology related to development uh, of uh, medicine, vaccine, and antibody. And the, the public health authority scope of services and communicable disease, health and promotion, healthy environment and com uh, communities, public health lab, and public health academy all these are, are are the scope that you are working with public health protection and emergency and preparedness public health intelligence and surveillance and global health and the board of director of public health authority constitute of multi-sectoral uh, uh, and they represent from the ministry of uh, all the ministries and all the uh, the key people that or key entities that need to be a partner of the uh, any public health, uh, a wider scope of the public health uh, uh, system. So when we, what, coronavirus in Saudi Arabia, we, in Saudi Arabia, we know, we, we experienced two types of coronaviruses. Uh, the first one was in 2012, when we had the MERS, which is the uh, Middle East uh, um, uh, Respiratory uh, Syndrome, uh, COVID, was observed in, in 2012. And we established a committee that chaired by His Excellency Minister, and we, we did uh, a, a tremendous work to contain it. And it started to be uh, endemic in Saudi Arabia with, with relation to the uh, camel. Uh, uh, public health authority wasn't uh, established back then, uh, but it was very important show that we need entity like uh, CDC, uh, which later on become a public health authority. In 2019, we only start to have the first case of, uh, uh, or actually before the first case of COVID, establishing of a COVID uh, 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 committee chaired by His Excellency, the Minister of Health and composed of 24 participating entity as, uh, uh, to facilitate and to execute the response that need with extra fund and response from the, uh, to control the virus. If you see the committee that concern of, of COVID, uh, tackling COVID, uh, it, it's actually more than 24 entity. One of them is, 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 is uh, uh, Wikaya or BHA. And we have uh, 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 org structure that or or orchestrate uh, the, the response in the, in the, uh, in the, for the COVID. Uh, so what we did actually is to activate all the na national and regional uh, command and control center. Uh, we suspend travel uh, through the, you know, uh, through this area at that times, both social distancing and, and thermal screening of entry of every public place, mandate wearing masks for all, increase the local manufacturing of PPE and other uh, infection control supply, mass field, uh, ma we, 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 we issue a free uh, uh, testing and uh, treatment for all, strengthening the capability and resources and expanding the laboratory capacity. Uh, we, we, we suspend uh, OMRA and, so on, and, 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 uh, and uh, education, international and domestic flight for a certain time for epidemic. Uh, but, uh, partial and total curfew, as you remember, all the world was having and Saudi Arabia was where we were are part of the, of the same uh, response. Treat all citizens, even the illegal, illegal, uh, illegal resident, uh, free without any consequencing. And this is a very uh, uh, application of the healthcare for all people, uh, 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 any people in Saudi Arabia, even if he presented Ill illegal, he will be treated free of charge without any consequencing. Develop uh, the developing the 937 from MOH to support people by answering 24/7. Um, uh, uh, um, we had uh, 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 help and contribute in a uh, in central platform for for tracking uh, any suspected case and their laboratory result. 
BHA Public Authority and MH assigned committee and expert task force to develop protocols and guidelines based on the best practice, clinical trial, and previous experience on MERS, COVID. And we, we, we had a national plan to manage PPE supply stock, and we will work together and collaborative, collaboratively with the other entity. So KSA has developed several digital platform and media app. We did have the Tawakkalna. Tawakkalna is uh, um, uh, started to issue a permit for traveling during the curfew. Uh, and then uh, it has progress, expand to show uh, a status of immunity of COVID vaccine, COVID test result, issue health passport, and other function. And people required to show Tawakkalna status to be able to prove their immunity uh, to, to access public, uh, public uh, places. And in Saudi Arabia, uh, we had uh, uh, Tataman uh, used uh, to do for those confirmed or suspected COVID cases, also used to, uh, for contact with those who have confirmed with cases and waiting for their result. Uh, it's actually um, more of an um, uh, uh, application and, uh, uh, and also to provide the test result and advice for quarantine and isolation. We have also Tabaid using uh, conjunction with, with Tatman designed to notify and support who are in contact with infected uh, uh, people. And we in Waqaya, we, 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 we uh, help to, 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 to design the blueprint uh, which was being taken by the MOH for uh, a Ta'akkad clinic, which is the mass testing uh, 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 for COVID, which is um, based on testing clinic available through the kingdom, both mobile and uh, uh, stationary. And we have also Tatamman, uh, Tatamman walk-in clinic, which is basically it's a fever clinic, which has been adapted by Ministry of Health uh, for any people who have fever can come and check for them free of charge. And for the COVID vaccines, uh, in 10th of December, of, of uh, the, kingdom, uh, the kingdom authorized uh, through its uh, Saudi FDA, the use of Pfizer uh, bio, uh, biotech uh, vaccine uh, for emergency authorization, following extensive review and uh, of the available study and safety and efficacy. Uh, uh, Saudi Arabia announced that vaccine will be available for all citizens and residents of Saudi Arabia free of charge in order to achieve the highest level of immunity uh, in the community. Uh, as of today, the third dose was available for everyone and fourth dose uh, is given for high-risk group. Uh, registration uh, uh, process was organized and made easy, easy through mobile application, which is adopted by uh, Ministry of Health. Uh, and we see all the uh, political and uh, from all the, uh, the, the, the kingdom, uh, the king and his uh, uh, Royal Highness and all the ministers and all the people they are uh, adopting and taking the vaccine uh, and encouraging the use and take vaccine for the whole community. Uh, well, uh, in Saudi Arabia known for having the holy uh, places uh, and Hajj and Umrah, which is uh, uh, um, um, the, uh, we receive a million of people from uh, more than two, um, 200 countries. So from 2.5 million each year to less than 1,000 in 2020 and to 60,000 in 2021 as a response of COVID, um, uh, for, the, for, for this year, is, uh, we will be having more than 1 million uh, uh, for Hajj. Uh, they all mandated by uh, Wilqaya protocol to be fully vaccinated for COVID. Uh, uh, and uh, age should be less than 65 with negative PCR more than 72 hour. Uh, uh, for Omra, which is having all the year, we have a comprehensive plan was developed through the coordination between the involved sectors. People must be registered in um, uh, at Amarna at their application for uh, applying for this holy uh, 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 pilgrims. Uh, the requirement of Umrah was uh, set based on the age, medical condition, vaccination status, first time, and other. And now with the control, uh, and now with the control and major, uh, major, we alleviated the uh, condition. The requirement has been alleviated to be uh, more people such uh, are allowing children above seven years to go uh, inside the Holy Mosque. 
So uh, these uh, just a nutshell how Saudi Arabia and where will public health authority played one. We in Wakaya also we work through uh, to establish a risk assessment tool at the early start of the, the pandemic uh, to really risk certify the country activity of COVID. Uh, the aim is to provide an information uh, 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 um, the risk of uh, importation, uh, uh, risk of transmission uh, into the kingdom. You know, we we all witness uh, lots of uh, uh, variation through this three years of, of pandemic, a lot of mutation and variant of viruses that need to be tracked and controlled. Um, uh, the, the public health uh, and, uh, and to the public health authority. Um, so this risk assessment has, has worked to Stratify the the global risk of COVID into the kingdom. Which the uh, public health authority risk uh, tool was categorized into five: minimal, low, moderate, and high and very high. And over risk was determined. Uh, predefined criteria that enable risk assessment for each level and trigger action that to it include epidemiological spread of the virus in the country, uh, the healthcare system capacity of each country, and early detection and reporting of novel uh, uh, virus. And we have a 24-7 team working around the clock, evaluating each uh, all these uh, globally. Uh, 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 rapid response to an, and mitigation, for, uh, for, for uh, this is one of the major importance of that. And we have more than 100 uh, risk uh, assessment reports uh, has been issued by uh, Wikaya. We have a daily report to be shared with the high authority for planning and preparedness and recommendation. Uh, communication uh, and participation in daily press conference. <coughs> public health authority has recognized the importance of the communication with the public through various media channel, post information and its social media <coughs> account and web page. And we participate in a daily uh, uh, or semi-daily conference with the uh, either with uh, indirectly by information or directly by our presence. We uh, um, issued more than 250 protocol and guidelines for all the sector, uh, whether it's uh, manufacturing, educational, military, um, uh, 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 economy, all these sector, how they will be managing and to alleviate and to be agile for this COVID. We issue protocol and guidelines in targeting various segments for, from public health and clinical practitioner to public health and different uh, for different uh, places such as school, mosques, workplace, public health transportation. We are assessing the implementation of, uh, of uh, published communicable uh, disease guideline and protocol in a various community setting, for example, in collaboration, for example, in a collaboration for Ministry of Environment uh, and Water and Agriculture, we found that some of the unregulated uh, our, our list regulated market outside the uh, it was a high with high activity of virus so we recommended to be outside the city we public health uh, authority has uh, 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 served as a national reference lab for the kingdom uh, for covid and others we accredited more than uh, 80 180 laboratory for in the public health uh, uh, and private uh, sector Achieving 100% uh, of evaluation for uh, for uh, quality check for ECAB for COVID PCR testing, we are we we launched just two weeks after first case the sequencing for COVID uh, um, uh, in March 2020, uh, which helped tracking and monitoring and uh, um, uh, local and various. Uh, 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 cases on the uh, kingdom. The uh, the national uh, uh, genomic uh, surveillance program in Saudi Arabia is a national uh, genomic surveillance program played uh, essential role for studying SARS-CoV uh, from the beginning. Uh, it's uh, working to vaccine related and public health uh, vaccine related and public health intervention. The epidemiological map has been developed for the strain from Saudi Arabia and uh, continuous update. Monitor uh, various uh, virus evolu uh, evolution uh, and early detection for any new variant uh, raising in the kingdom. 
monitor all travel related cases to understand the transmission better and evaluation of virus. Uh, our uh, 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 targeted was the severe case, travel related, post infection, and reinfection and viral polydynamic. Uh, we in uh, Public Health Authority, we uh, the WHO Collaborating Center for Ma uh, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, and we get the uh, in March 2001 that uh, WHO is uh, 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 um, uh, uh, recognizing the Wilkaya or Public Health Authority as a collaborating center for MERS. Uh, and the main objective of this collaboration is to participate in development of evidence-based guideline support the WHO in development, development and strengthening the, uh, of surveillance and preparedness system, and to act as a reference central to, uh, center to build uh, capability uh, to respond and control MERS outbreaks, to support WHO in generating, in generation and disseminating evidence-based MERS uh, related to MERS, to support the WHO to, uh, work in developing and strengthening strategy for uh, mass preparedness and surveillance system. And upon the request of the WHO, act as a reference center for capacity building and response and control for uh, MERS cluster and outbreaks. Uh, where, uh, where are we by now? Uh, we are in 70% in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, 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 fully immunized. And we had uh, uh, a, a, a very uh, 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 with very steady uh, cases so far for the for the COVID. So what has worked? Uh, the whole uh, governments uh, uh, governance approach was and 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 the strength. Early lack, early lockdown of the border has worked uh, initially. Strong social contract between, uh, based on the trust between the uh, all sector, uh, 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 maintaining essential services while uh, protecting worker, consistent, uh, constant messaging, mask and hand washing and distancing, uh, shielding of ver uh, the vulnerable group, vaccination and the uh, uh, importance of si uh, science led and evidence based uh, decision making and minimize the economic impact by remote work, uh, working uh, uh, where possible. Thank you. Wonderful, Abdullah. Perfect. Thank you very much for your presentation. And we are open to questions to Dr. Ogzani, please. To get started, I have some questions. I have, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, Abdullah is a superstar in, in Saudi Arabia, and, and he is the CEO of the Saudi Arabia CDC. And uh, it's my pleasure to, to have Abdullah as a, a friend. And after Abdullah came back to Saudi Arabia, we had a lot of Saudi fellows that they came to work in. Uh, with us in different research projects. And my first question, Abdullah, uh, I remember that you, when you came here, you presented to us a very important lecture about MERS-CoV and the impact that happened in Saudi Arabia. And in that time, in 2015, 2016, you know, I, I believe that uh, people outside Saudi Arabia didn't give so much much importance of coronavirus because MERS-CoV was limited to the Middle East countries. But I'd like to extend my question not to this MERS-CoV importance for the Middle East country, but what happened in South Korea that you talked to us, if you remember very well, and the case presentation in an infectious disease doctor that got mars COVID. Could you summarize these two, three questions? Yeah, I, I, th I, th I think the, 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 um, the experience that we had about mars COVID was, was something that uh, uh, gave us um, a better understanding of how is the MERS is getting as, as, as outbreak and how's, how's the coronavirus could put you in, in, 
nanny coronavirus in the hospital and you will be maybe critical. And I have a very dear friend. Uh, he got a uh, MERS-CoV and he really got uh, uh, into the ICU and its complication and uh, and, and and it was uh, the azithromycin was only snapshot about what's happened in the COVID-19. And when we start to recognize uh, the we hear about the coronavirus and 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 early start in China, we really recognize what's how serious it is, and we work very hard that. We know how how and and if you saw it that we see the response of of Saudi Arabia and South Korea at that it was a very good and prompt uh, response because we did had uh, a, a taste of what could coronavirus do for you. Uh, but of course, the difference between the MERS and 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 COVID on uh, transmissibility and sustainability is, is totally different. But it's a uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's experience that we 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 building ourselves and it's it's a no no matter how much you you put in effort people start with with time they forget this uh, experience and much reminding of how can we work and boost our capacity and capability for sure will help us to 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 learn and, and what 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 help actually is building on these successes and keep the momentum with, with people and try to keep people alert about their capacity and uh, capability and, and and of course this is not is, is not something that you do it for once and leave it you need to continue keep uh, 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 remind yourself and ask uh, all people and educate ourselves in how can we as a, as a, as a, as a, as, a, as a, all of us not only entity not as entity alone and what we learn actually that from MERS, it's not, it's not, it's not the, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the health sector responsibility is responsibility of all, and if we want to apply the one health aspect, I want health aspects, which means that these, the, 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 the contribution of the, of the animal sector, of, uh, of, of the environment, all these are playing role. And no matter what, if you do as a health, you need the collaboration of all people. Yes, I hope that I answered the question, Alex. Thank you very much. And we have a, a question for Dr. Elisa Kozaza. Please, Elisa. Hi, nice to meet you, uh, nice uh, Lula. And I would like to know uh, how uh, Saudi Arabia is preparing for the long-term consequence of COVID, such as cognitive demands and mental health issues. And that's it, my, my question. This very very good question, Lisa. Thank you for that question. I, I we we did the study in so and 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 Ukiah with the other uh, uh, stakeholder in Saudi Arabia, and we we recognized that depression, for example, as a as a as a COVID was 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 a, a, a something that we considered uh, with a great response, uh, sometimes reached to forty percent or fifty percent. We the, the the Ministry of Health uh, uh, has has issued a couple of clinics for post COVID. Uh, 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 what we call long COVID. We 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 had a couple of clinics. Uh, we have clinics distributed for for all the region uh, in the Ministry of Health. Uh, the target actually is to 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 follow people with post COVID for any concern or any, uh, just track them, uh, 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 and and we to follow any side effect of or, or the complication of the long COVID uh, uh, issue. Uh, but again. Uh, the, we're still in the pandemic. Do we get together with longer neurological uh, issues? But to Alex, I don't know what's no. going on. <laughs> no, yes, no, no problem. Uh, considering the long COVID. Year, uh, we are talking about the clinic, and, and in the end, you said that we are not only interested in COVID, in long COVID, but, and I didn't hear you. Yes, yes. I, I, I mean that we, we, we're not only for the healthcare worker, for all the population. Okay. Uh, but again, the, the clinic, maybe the people start to not attending that clinic as much before because people start to live with COVID as a, as a, as a, as a long term, uh, and people. Uh, they are start living also with the COVID. Yeah. Oh, great. Yes, because uh, uh, this uh, room, Einstein Connection, like Elisa is professor from our post-graduation program, 
and uh, maybe she's interested to study something about psychiatry disorders for long COVID. And uh, I, I'm interested too to study long COVID and other issues considering uh, the breakthrough infection in healthcare workers taking COVID-19 vaccine. And in Brazil, uh, we have uh, Pfizer, but we have CoronaVac, the Chinese vaccine, and AstraZeneca. And maybe if you are interested, we can collaborate in research projects for the future to, to make comparisons between Saudi Arabia and, and, and Brazilian healthcare workers, or Saudi and Brazilian uh, population. Would be more than happy to have it. Great. Really, we're more than happy uh, to collaborate and see how things go between the two countries. That we're more than happy. Wonderful. Do you want to say to comment on anything, Elisa? Uh, well, uh, I, I have been interested in this um, cognitive problems uh, as well as depression, anxiety uh, coming from uh, COVID 19. So, uh, yes, we, we may talk about. Yes, Elisa. I think the uh, we did the study during the COVID, during the pandemic, which were the curfew and people alarming, the anxiety and depression was in the high. But the long aspect, we do have a study about MERS, for sure. There was a depression with the MERS uh, as a long uh, um, post-MERS. Uh, but we'll be more than happy to, to, to look at our data and crunch it and see how we can, we can some, bring, do something jointly, yes. Any, any other question? Uh, I, I have uh, another question, Dula. I, I'm really excited to see about your National Genomic Surveillance Program. And I, I, I read in Lancet one of the Saudi papers about that was wonderful because doing a genomic uh, tracking and considering all these issues that these mutations is happening in the in this article too. And uh, uh, Albert Einstein has a surveillance system that we are collaborating together. Uh, the, the coordinator of this is Dr. John Renato. He's not here, but he's collaborating in many research studies with us. And maybe that's another opportunity to, to merge data from Saudi Arabia and Albert Einstein. And uh, one of my questions considering, because there are a lot of good stories about you and about your expertise, uh, 10 years understanding study coronavirus because of mass COVID. And what is the situation? My question is in 2020, when we we had the first cases in Brazil, I think that was February or March. I think that on March and Saudi Arabia in the same time that I I I, I, I wrote down here, March 2020. Uh, what is the situation when you had the first case in a in a place where is another coronavirus, another um, MERS COVID? Did you have any co-infection, MERS-CoV, SARS-CoV-2, or not? Mm -hmm. Or the situation is under control considering the MERS-CoV? Sure. Well, that's, that's a wonderful question. We thought at, at the start that we might have a co-infection, and we, we monitored that we did not have so far any, any co-infection, or the risk always with these viruses getting together, and, and, and we did not have such thing uh, on the on the uh, aspect um, and it'd be interesting to see the the impact of this mass vaccination in the MERS by itself the activity and that's something we might uh, observe and see how things goes maybe this vaccination level of the antibodies it might have protection theoretically not but we would love to see maybe we'll have some more or even the infection which is you know that the vaccine itself it's is based on the S protein the infection for all the virus but we, we, I think we, as an endemic, would be um, very interesting to see this post-COVID on the MERS activity. And, 
And also, not only that, also the therapeutic that's been used for COVID, for treatment for COVID, it's very interesting to see the therapeutic for, uh, for, for MERS. Uh, 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 a lot of activity that uh, for sure that would be an, an, an important. We did have a, a, a work with the MERS vaccine for the camel with the K-Mark. So we vaccinate the camel against MERS and it has been successful. Uh, I think the work is, is, is being taken by the K-Mark, who's the National Guard uh, uh, or King Abdullah Research Center. But these all are our area of uh, studying and we are keeping an eye on this and we are trying to work on this uh, research. And we're more than happy to collaborate with with the, with with the, with the, with, the, with, the, with you, Alex, or anybody from even from uh, from our colleague from São Paulo and uh, at this time. Wonderful. Uh, hospital. Wonderful. Well, I have a lot of questions. Yeah. Oh, Very interesting, and we were we are we are we are eye on this. Uh, uh, There's a question in the chat. Oh, great. Uh, oh, Leonardo Rocha. Uh, Oi, Leo. Uh, hi, Dr. Alvizani. Congratulations on the high quality of your presentation. I'd like to ask you if recruitment of international healthcare workforce was necessary to help with the pandemic. That's the question. Well, uh, we, 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 we didn't uh, really um, require the healthcare worker in this regard. We, um, we 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 managed to have it within this one. It was a difficulty at start, but uh, we 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 leverage uh, to 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 work within our resources. Uh, the uh, Saudi Arabia is open for multi uh, nationality that worker that work with us in different aspects. We are open for all nationality, but we we there was not, no necessary for for healthcare delivery system to have this uh, uh, international uh, recruit for that. Yes. Great. Do, do you have any question, Elisa? Oh, I think I think it's okay for me. Great. Yeah. Uh, Abdullah, considering the COVID-19 reinfection that you know many studies now showing that uh, who got COVID-19 infection received the vaccine will be more protected. You you know, to, to, to get another infection. What is the situation if someone got MERS-CoV, took the COVID-19 vaccine, they are more protected to have like a less severe COVID-19 disease? Well, that will be a very difficult question to answer, but I, I know people who get MERS and they got the vaccine and then they got uh, uh, the COVID for sure, uh, but it was a safe. Uh, I, I don't think because of the mess. It's because of of the vaccine, I believe. Uh, uh, but again, this is much uh, a good sample and with good molecular uh, and biological testing for for this one. We know for fact that infection or vaccine the immunity will win anyway. That's happened for the COVID, and I think MERS will be no different than COVID, that they, all this immunity will uh, win in terms of humoral uh, uh, immunity. But in the cellular immunity, there always is some part of it to prevent and try to uh, 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 to, to protect. Uh, it's very, very difficult to say that MERS, previous MERS infection was protective, but there was people in Saudi Arabia who were MERS and then they get infected by and people with the COVID and they reinfected again with COVID. So uh, I don't I don't think it's a, it's a preventive or protective. Uh, but uh, no one can really assure unless we did a head to head a comparative study. Oh, great! Yes, and for everybody that is attending this session today, I, I want to emphasize that uh, Dr. Albizani is a superstar in Saudi Arabia because he finished his fellowship and he one of the founders of the CDC in Saudi Arabia. And this is a very important situation because to, to, to fight you know, COVID-19 pandemic in, in, in the Middle East, East region. And uh, my question to you, Abidullah, is the Saudi Arabia CDC 
I, I'm, I'm really uh, interested to know how is the relationship, because we know that there are the CDC in the US, the European CDC, Singapore, and other countries. What, what is the relationship between, among, among all of these CDCs, how it works? Well, uh, Saudi CDC, which uh, turned out to be public health authority, is a part of the International Association of Public Health uh, Institute, IAMFI. I sit in the uh, executive board as a, as, as, a, as a member. We work collaboratively together with these entities um, in order to uh, 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 learn from them and help other entity as well. We, uh, uh, I, I happen to be one of also who helped to establish the Gulf CDC, which is the, uh, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, uh, so a center for disease prevention. And we are working collaboratively is, is with, with the, all the sovereign uh, right uh, for, for, for the country, but we work collaboratively with a mutual uh, respect and cooperation. And I'd like very much to see about the WHO Collaboration Center that you are part since you 2021, that's right? Yes, we'd be more than happy to, to have a further presentation about it, deep dive on the Collaborating Center. And we're working also to keep this uh, momentum with the MERS, with the, with the, with the, uh, with the WHO, yes. Oh, wonderful. And, and for everybody that is attending this session, I, I, I want to emphasize too, because I learned a lot with you during uh, 2016, uh, when you said about the MERS COVID in Iowa, and after the other Saudi fellows, Faha, Mohammedis, they helped you here, because you know, a lot of doubts, what is the best diagnosis, diagnostic method? And some, someone was, got, Guide, be guiding to the serologist. No, no, serology that doesn't work. And that's true because that's the same virus. Of course, mars cov is different from SARS-CoV-2, but the origin is the same, coronavirus. And yes. I remember that Mohammed told him, no, please talk to Albert Einstein lab, RT-PCR, that's the gold standard. And that's the yes. gold standard, RT-PCR. That's the first part. About the infection prevention. I remember that uh, I, I see in your pictures in 2016 about the drive through and I see now, and that's the, the same pattern that you, everybody around the world is doing this as an infection prevention, like doing cohorts in hospitals, like this is COVID, this is no COVID. Because yes. I remember that you showed us about MERS. This is MERS, this is no MERS. And that, that's really important because all the Saudi expertise helped you, not US, I remember that in Iowa, a lot of uh, meetings and they were questioning about Mohammedis, what they think and what is the experience in Mars COVID. Probably uh, they, they talked to you about that time in, 2000, in the beginning of 2020 here. Uh, uh, I appreciate your, your help and your collaboration because you have not only Iowa, but uh, my thoughts for people uh, in, in other chats. Uh, all the credits is to you. And uh, you. We, we, we are finishing our presentation today, but I have one comment here. Uh, Duncan Selby, Abdullah Algizan is a public health rock star. Yes, you're right. <laughs> and regional leader and should be immensely proud of his work in establishing the Saudi Public Health Authority and in supporting the pandemic response in Kingdom. We all have much to learn from them. Duncan said the president. Yes, I totally agree with you, Duncan. I'm really proud thank of you, Abdullah, and thank you for everything. Thank uh, you, thank you. Thank you, Alex, for the lovely uh, time, and thank you for this very lovely comment. I miss my disc, which is behind you. Uh, this is that's, also my that's disc. That's your room. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I miss it. And thank you. Chair. Yes, and please say hi to to all to Pedro uh, and all the, uh, the new children and uh, your wife and all the uh, uh, friends and Iowa. And thank you, and for all the folks in Sao Paulo. 
uh, for the uh, our colleague of Brazil. Thank you very much. I'm very honored. I'm happy to be with you and always be uh, for any uh, invitation. Be more than happy to be there. Thank you. Thank you. And Pedro is here in the room. Pedro, do you want, do you want to ask any questions of Abdullah? <laughs> no, I don't have any questions, but thank you for the presentation. Good luck, Pedro. Good luck in the, in the, in the med school. I hope that you yeah, have a very... Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you. Okay, Abdullah, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If there is any other question, I'm really glad to see you again. I hope that you visit us in Sao Paulo, Brazil, when the things are better. Or if you want to be in Iowa, yes, you can be at home. Yes, thank you for much. sure. Appreciate it. See you soon. See you soon. Bye bye, all. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, bye -bye. for attending this presentation.